Hello, this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius. Oh, last but not least, we have our beautiful Sagittarius. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still cleaning up from the last reading I did, so bear with me, my loves. How y'all doing? All right, so I got a new deck. It's called the Who Oracle. And um, I did a review on it. So if you're curious about the deck that I'm using at the end of the reading, it's a deck which is going to give you physical characteristics about your person. Um, just characteristics in general about your person. It's really fun. Then, you know, check out the review. I don't usually do reviews for decks that I buy, you know, but I really wanted to do a review for this deck because it's awesome. Okay, so we're going to dive right in. Hold on one second while I clear your space with my little bell. I don't want to bust your eardrums, so. Okay, and we're back. All right, so I went ahead and cleared your, see, I got this little bell. <laughs> then I use it to clear the space. Sound healing. <laughs> what is synchronicity? All right, so Sagittarius, last but not least. If you are new to my channel, just so you know, all of my readings are timeless. If you are a previous subscriber, hello and welcome back. Okay. All right, let's see what you got going on. Eight cards for Sagittarius. Whoa, that one. I heard something. That one flew out. Ooh. You on the top of your game. <laughs> You're just fighting all the competition out the water. <laughs> there is no competition for you in your love life, right? <laughs> you bust them all out the water. Hmm. So it seems to me, Capricorn... Capricorn. I just read for Capricorn. I keep saying Capricorn. Sagittarius. We are reading for Sagittarius. I'm not going to do this again. Did I do this on your guys' last reading? I feel like I did. <laughs> so sorry. Sagittarius. I know I'm reading for Sagittarius. <sighs> Let's try this again. <laughs> so there's an energy of, dare I say it? I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. There's an energy. <clears throat> See, if I don't say it, my throat chakra is going to get fucked up. There is an energy of you feeling bored in your current situation. I don't know what that situation is, whether it's a relationship, a marriage, or, you know, seeing someone. I don't know. Hold on. But... We got the Four of Cups, which to me in a relationship reading is, it means boredom. But we got Ace of Swords, which shows me that there's, something's happening. There's an energy breakthrough or a communication breakthrough right directly after that. Why did this energy come out? So now we got, oh no. Can we get a good reading right now? <laughs> Four more, or three more, sorry. Three more spirit. Oh, Lord. I don't want to, I don't want to channel this. I don't want to channel this story. <laughs> Can I channel another story, spirit, please? <sighs> oh, well, I guess we can't fight that energy. It. Hold on, a card hit the floor. <sighs> okay. I'm not quite sure I want to channel this energy, but it's what's coming out. So I guess we're going to, I guess we're going to channel this. So there's an energy of fighting off something, first of all, because we got, I didn't, I didn't pick your last card yet. This, do you, if you see this card, it's a man. He's standing on top of a mountain or something. So it shows you've reached the top of the mountain. You're at the top. They're at the pinnacle of your success. Okay. And you fought off everybody, all the negative naysayers. 
um, and you've reached your goal, whatever that goal is in regards to, you know, your life. But then there's this energy of feeling bored and incomplete. See why I didn't want to channel this? Because this is the Four of Cups. It's, you know, spirits offering you this cup and you're like, no, this is not really what I want. I'm bored. Like, I'm not happy where I'm at in, you know, my love space. Like, you know, whether in your in your relationship, okay, whether it's you're, you're single, you're with someone, it doesn't matter. There is an energy of I am not happy in this space. I'm not happy being single. I'm not happy being married. I'm not happy dating this person, whatever the energy is, okay? There is the Ace of Swords, which shows me that pretty soon the truth is going to come out. You cannot hide. The Ace of Swords, I thought I heard something. The Ace of Swords is about cutting through any pretenses. It's literally, they call it the sort of truth because it's about, bam, I'm cutting through this fakeness, this facade with the sort of truth. Okay, it's called the sort of truth for a reason. We have the seven of pentacles, which shows me that this energy has been brewing for a long time. This is the energy of planting seeds. Those seeds have been there for a while, and I feel like they've just been fought off for a long time. And I'm going to tell you why. Hmm. Okay. This isn't going to resonate with, with everyone, but it's going to resonate for someone. Obviously, Spirit had me channel it for a reason. Okay, so here the next card that came out is the Three of Pentacles. Now, this is, um, it's, it's, it's the third party card. <laughs> it's 7-7 seven, seven on my camera. Um, so, it feels to me like, there is a third energy that has came into your space. And, you know, the reason I'm saying that is because right next to that card is the Empress. So this is an energy of a divine feminine that has came into your space, which has sort of caught your attention, Sagittarius. And the card that came out right next to it is the Ten of Pentacles. So it's not a shitty energy. The Ten of Pentacles represents the legacy card. So this is the card of like being able to um, start a whole new family legacy um, with this person. Okay. It's, it's, you know, having things that you can pass on to your children, you know, whatever that means. But, you know, it's, it, I, it's the legacy card. It's, it's known as the legacy card. Okay. Or the happy family card. I mean, it's, it shows a couple, um, like an older gentleman, and then a couple that, you know, they have two dogs and kids together. <clears throat> See why I didn't want to channel this? <laughs> All the cards are pointing to this, though. So I, it's not like I'm reading the energy. It's what I do. I'm an energy reader. I don't always like what I channel. Um... So this three of pentacles could be you are working with someone who shares this empress energy. Now the empress is this energy of a beautiful, divine, feminine, seductive, um, gorgeous energy. Someone who's very put together. It's a queen type energy, right? So yes, it is a divine feminine energy. Now, this could be you working with a divine feminine who is embodying these energies. Or it could be this is your energy, right? But with all of these surrounding cards, it... <laughs> I doubt that's what it is. That's all I'm going to say. I do see that the energy surrounding you in this Empress, though, is not, it's not a bad energy. It's last card, strength, of course. <laughs> All right. So, um, 
there was a card that flew out and I like to call this side energy. So this card here in a love reading is known as the soulmate card. It is the energy of two souls who are familiar with each other, know each other. This is also the card of nostalgia. So um, remembering a time past, remembering um, what it was like to feel like a child. So maybe this person makes you feel like a child, happy. The next card that came out, um, that was a side energy card. This is your last card. It's strength. It's Leo energy. So I feel like all of this energy is... Honestly, it really feels like you're going to have to make some decisions. And your spirit guides are saying you are way stronger than you know. You know, you have the ability to follow your heart and make your own decisions. So take that how it resonates. Um, I'm going to throw some romance angels on this and then some, we'll do some gypsy witch. Let's, let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. Okay. Sagittarius. <clears throat> so that's fire sign energy as well. I think the Empress. I'm not sure what if that's fire sign or earth. I think it's an earth energy. Not sure. All right. Ready now for Sagittarius. Can we get two cards for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Two cards, romance angels for Sagittarius, please. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And now I'm not quite sure what that means either. We might have to do an extended on this. This energy is off the freaking hook, Sagittarius. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm agreeing with this. Fuck my life. <laughs> you saw me shuffle the cards. Okay. <laughs> so we have pay attention to the red flags it says the signs are cautioning you I don't know I have no idea what that means it's going to be different for everyone um, it came out with this card separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so seems like I'm on the right path with this whole energy read It looks like, Sagittarius, um, you are definitely moving on from whatever situation you're in right now into something new. It as it resonates. Oh, Lord. I'm not judging. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just reading the energy. All right. I was hoping other cards would come out from the Romance Angels. And literally the first card is pay attention to the red flags and then separation. Whew. I don't know. We're going to do two love oracles. Oops. You know what I was going to do? Two cards just flew out. Your energy is crazy. Okay. We got storm warning and read between the lines. Whew. This energy is crazy. Yes. I think we need to do an extended. Storm warning. We got storm warning. Pay attention to the, to the red flags. What is going on? And we got read between the lines. So it feels honestly to me like at this point, maybe you discovered something about your person. There was red flags with this person that you're involved with right now. And that's why we got this. That's what it feels like. Pay attention to the red flags. We got storm warning. Maybe this person has a temper. I don't know. But something happened. Something happened. And you had to discover something on your own. You know, we got this sort of truth. We got reading between the lines. 
I feel like you discovered something about your partner that you didn't like. Maybe you had one foot out the door anyways, or you were considering leaving this energy and then you found something out about your partner that sort of sealed the deal. And I feel like you already had someone else in mind that maybe you weren't going to, maybe you met someone and you weren't going to make any moves towards this person, but then you discovered something about your partner and it sort of changed everything. That's what it feels like. I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to shut up. Sagittarius, get out of my house. I'm done. I'm done with this reading. Last two cards for Sagittarius from the Gypsy Tarot. And then we're going to do your who thing for you single Sages. Number one, the sun nearby signifies happiness and popularity. <laughs> number one. So this is number one. Again, this is an energy of a fresh start with someone else. We got this Empress energy. Number one represents um, fresh start, right? The dog. Number 27. If you add seven and two, it's nine. The dog represents true friends. Aw. So, I don't know. This, the dog for me always represents loyalty as well. So maybe, I mean, it says true friends. So maybe this is a friendship that turns into something else. You know, it's going to be different for everyone. Um, the dog, though, represents fidelity and loyalty. So, you know, your energy is coming out as loyal. Your person's energy is coming out as loyal. Whoever you were dealing with before, though, their energy doesn't feel very loyal. Can I just say that? I don't know. It is what it is. All right. I'm going to do... So this might resonate with you. If the person you're seeing right now or the person that you have in mind has these physical characteristics, it might resonate with you. It'll probably resonate more with you single Sagittarius as though they're not in a relationship right now with anyone. Well, if the cards are, are if the cards are right and the predictions are right, you're not going to be in a relationship for very much longer either. I hate to channel shit like that. Okay. This will give you some sort of things to look for. Okay. Sagittarius, what can we give them from spirit? Why is this coming out for every freaking sign? It's ridiculous. It's <laughs> the last three signs I read for it. We have dark complexion. <laughs> it's like the favorite card. 40s. Okay. And I'll show you the cards in just a minute. Last two for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have dark complexion. So they might have a darker colored skin complexion. We have 40s. This is their age. They are in their 40s. <laughs> we have petite. So this person might be short. Small in stature. I can resonate with that because I am five feet tall. <laughs> Photo. <laughs> it's funny. Small but mighty. All right, last card for Sagittarius, please. Down to earth. Aw. So this person is very down to earth. They'll probably make you feel comfortable. They're probably really tiny. In their 40s. Beautiful complexion. All right, I hope that this reading um, <clears throat> resonated with someone. I'm sorry I had to be the bearer of such bad news. Why do you keep getting bad readings, Sagittarius? Well, not bad, but you know what I mean? Everything's perspective. But I hate to hear that you're like unhappy. Something happened. You're not happy with your partner or whatever. I don't, I don't like channeling. I'm a love reader. I like to channel like happy shit. Like, y'all so happy and in love and you guys are fucking every night and you're you know 
having steamy hot sex and you're gonna get married and all that stuff I don't know all right if you want to book a reading with me Sagittarius <laughs> all you have to do is click that little arrow and my description box will pop up it's got all of my prices and everything that I offer um, if you want to join me on patreon um, I do sexual energy reads for all the signs I keep forgetting to mention that <laughs> it's so funny uh, my Etsy shop is also in the description box below. There's different ways to connect with me. My Lemurian Love Deck is on sale in my Etsy shop right now. There's two different ways you can tip me. I appreciate all of you that have so far. Also, it's free to like my videos. It's free to share my videos. It's free to subscribe to my videos. Um, and hit the notifications so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. What else? Please, if you feel so guided, check out my little guy's channel. He's the only channel that I have in my featured channels. Um, and he works really hard at his channel too as well. So, all right, Sagittarius, I love you. Bye.